If you've ever tried to manage your photographs, you'll know that it's not easy. That's why you should need a dedicated photo management tool. This can really help you organize all of your media quickly and easily. Today, we're going to have a look at image. We're also going to have a look at photo prism. We want to know what features they offer and which one is the better option. So let's check them out. So Image is a self-hosted platform for backing up and managing your personal media collection. It actually offers Google photo-like functionality with um, absolute complete privacy. You can browse, search, organize um, all of your photos as well as videos while maintaining full control of all of your data. So there's no third-party access to any of your stuff. It has smart organization tools. Um, they are all AI powered. So um, you can actually use their search function. You can find photos by content description, uh, which is fantastic if you are looking for a particular photograph. You don't know which folder it's in. You don't know where to find it. It's impossible. You've been looking for months. This is your solution. Also, you can view photos on an integrated map and then also um, it has face recognition, so you can actually group and label similar faces or even particular faces and name them and have everything in uh, a very organized fashion. Um, it works effectively on um, modest hardware, which is fantastic. Their face recognition runs on your own server, again, keeping sensitive biometric data private. So Photoprism combines powerful AI and intuitive design to revolutionize photo management. The privacy-focused platform helps you rediscover and organize your memories. It has uh, some awesome AI features. Um, it has automatic tagging. So the technology actually identifies objects, scenes, as well as people. Your photos are actually organized. Um, without any manual effort. Also, it does have face recognition, so the system learns to identify people across your collection, um, finding photos of friends, um, family members, or if you know uh, you're looking for that one particular photograph and you just can't find it, this is the tool for you. Also, you can search by location, color, quality, or even the type of content, finding more specific memories, uh, which is a lot quicker, and if you do have a vast library, it is perfect. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are so many options available. There's tons of software available. There's so many apps available. It's easy to get lost. My advice is always to go and try two or three or four options and see what actually works best for your specific use case. Actually use it and see what actually is the right option. I hope this was helpful. If it really was, you can help the channel out by hitting the subscribe button. You can help us get to 10,000 subs. We'll see you in another awesome video.